Welcome to HUM 1900 Introduction to Film, eight week online section. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ms. Kendall or Ms. K. I'm the film faculty member at the Royal Oak and Southfield campuses. This course is 100% online and asynchronous. It does not meet on campus or in a classroom or through Zoom. Assigned films. Students are solely responsible for obtaining and watching assigned films. Just Watch is a source that I use to find streaming options. There's even an app. What to expect. Since this may be the first film class for many of you, I'd like to explain what we'll do in class. It may be a different approach to film than you're used to. Viewing film critically. We'll approach film critically and objectively. This means setting aside our likes and dislikes or initial reactions to film. It may be difficult at first, but the process will be very rewarding. How to read a film. Because we'll be looking at film closely instead of passively, we'll be reading film. As we learn the language and grammar of film, We'll focus on the formal elements of filmmaking. We'll develop the tools for critical thinking and writing about film. Aesthetic awareness is the general education outcome for the class. As we become aesthetically aware, we'll use film language in formal writings and discussions. We'll understand how film speaks to the viewer through its formal elements, photography, mise-en-scene, editing, sound, etc. Every picture tells a story. Photography in film is designed to create an emotional response. Being aesthetically aware is a roadmap to understanding our responses better. Analyzing an image. We are given information about the subjects and the setting. Look at the clothes the young ladies are wearing. Consider their body language, the setting, how much of the picture is sharp and in focus. Developing aesthetic awareness allows us to measure our reaction to the image. We can confidently say the subjects know each other. The setting is rural. The time period is not present day. The young ladies are the focal point. Because film is a universal language, we tend to react to images in similar ways. When we're aesthetically aware, we understand that we're responding to the elements of composition. Reading this image, this is a period piece. The shallow depth of field draws our eyes to the young ladies in the middle ground, in the center of the frame. The subjects know each other. The dominant color is blue. Expectations about what a film is or should be come from our experiences with film and are largely subjective. Since no one is born knowing what a film is, let's consider how would we explain film to someone who's never seen one before. Imagine you tell someone you're taking an online film class and they say, what is film? I know this is a stretch. Let's have some fun and use our imaginations. Here are a few ways to describe film. The celluloid that captures the images. Film is a noun. It's a capture device, even if it's digital. We need something to store images on so they can be viewed repeatedly. The act of shooting. Film is not only a noun, a thing, it's a verb, an act. We must go out and capture images. Film is an artistic medium. Perhaps we forget because we think of it as an escape, or we base a film's importance on how much money it makes. As we begin to view film objectively and learn film grammar, the images will take on a deeper meaning. Film is an industry. 
Film is one of America's largest exports. We export film and media worldwide. A historic and cultural document. Film can preserve time. We'll watch some of the first films ever made in class. It's the closest thing we have to traveling back in time. It's okay to laugh at how styles of dress and language change, but stop to think, what are we really responding to? Film can be a time capsule. It allows the viewer to investigate the past with amazing clarity and insight. What's captured in a film is a representation of culture and society. What will film look like 100 years from now? Film is entertainment. For many of us, our relationship with film revolves around being entertained. In this class, we'll replace the word entertainment with engagement. Film in this class is used to inform and teach us something. A method of storytelling. Most students immediately say film is a way to tell stories with pictures. Conventionally, this may be true, but film doesn't have to tell a concrete story. Did you know motion pictures were discovered through photographic experiments with movement of humans and animals? Objectively speaking, film is often used to tell stories, but its roots are in photography and documentation, not storytelling. A text to be analyzed. As film critics will move further away from judging films based on our opinions and towards analyzing film through a framework with a set of criteria. Films are often called texts inside the world of film criticism. This image of Marilyn Monroe from The Seven Year Itch is iconic. It can be analyzed for its historical, cultural, and aesthetical content. 